Good morning. It's August 6th. No, it's not August. <laughs> Let's try that again. <clears throat> Good morning. It is, I'm, I was trying to say the day of the week, and I don't remember what day it is. Let me try this again. <laughs> Good morning. It's moving day, and we are moving from Fort Pierce to the Keys, Florida Keys. I wanted to mention something to y'all because I didn't want the children to hear me. But um, we're gonna be going over a series of bridges from island to island. And um, thanks for helping, John Boy. And John Boy has a very large fear of bridges that go over water. He has a reason for this, and we'll leave it at that. But uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how he handles this. Um, going over bridges especially with the rig so yeah gonna be in uh, the Florida Keys here we go just past Miami Miami's over there and we are um, my little arm on my windshield holder thing is is not firm so we're trying to find a place to eat our picnic lunch I say picnic I've got food prepared in the RV and um, mr. patient pulled over and got diesel at a pilot up the road but there wasn't a good place to eat food or park park I mean so yeah. what'd you just do I think it was a I think it, I think it was a pay to park he just passed where we're supposed to get off because these roads are confusing aren't they I mean or is that yeah, the problem I mean, I'm changing back and forth between four and six lanes one way and it was a serve we're on a toll road so on toll roads you have service plazas where you can get gas and get food and just a potty break and those kind of things and the service plaza was on the left hand side of the road but I never saw a sign telling me to go that away I kept seeing the signs leading up to it but then when we got there I looked up and there was there it was over on the side of the road so somehow you had to cross over or under the other lanes of traffic going the other way but I didn't see how to do that or where to do that so we go forward so we're not eating yet. I'm gonna turn y'all around so you can see what we see. Okay, so we are um, in home, are we in Homestead, Florida? Not yet. Oh, that's funny. We're in Miami-Dade County. Okay. Isn't that where they had the hanging chads? I said, what? I don't, that's the wrong word. No, that's the right word. Is that the right word? Yes. Did I say something ugly? Yes. I mean, that's what they called it. <laughs> I know. Okay. Okay, anyway. I don't remember where it was. Maybe I should edit it that was out. Like was, that. I, did I, was I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> was I that's, supposed to say that? That's what it is. Um, it just has other meanings. <laughs> okay, well. Okay. Uh, anyway. Um, I'm referring to the election that time. Back years ago. It was, it was, uh, was the, it who the, was the, it was a Bush, wasn't it wasn't Bush? Wasn't it Bush Clinton election? I think it was. Or, no, it was Bush Gore. It was the Bush Gore election, I think. <clears throat> okay, well, anyway, that's what I think of when I hear Dade County. So, right now, we're trying to find, um, hey, can y'all put a blanket over your heads while you watch that movie so I don't have any copyright infringements or something. Um, thank you. <coughs> so anyway, we're trying to find a place to eat lunch. We're headed to the Keys for two days because that's all we can afford down here. And then we'll head back up on the Gulf Coast. I will say I'm going to miss the idea of being on the Atlantic Coast rather than the Gulf Coast because I don't know why. It's just I don't know why either because if you're standing on the beach you can't tell the difference. Yeah, but I just know it's you the Atlantic. See, you it's can't something see Mexico. There's, the Gulf. 
there's something more magical or romantic or whatever about saying this is the Atlantic Ocean instead of this is the Gulf Coast. I mean, okay. About where we left, the, the campground we just left. Okay. And so, um, all right, it was, it was a first, I was thinking <coughs> when, last night, <coughs> it was a first um, in uh, two or three ways, if I could remember what I had on my mind. First of all, it was a first because um, we'd never stayed in a, I'm just going to say it, a retirement community. And, for, by the way, we didn't know that's what it was when we booked it, but that's okay. That wouldn't have changed our minds. Well, they it? don't, they didn't advertise it as a retirement community, but that's pretty much what it was. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just it was very different because it was more like a, a neighborhood atmosphere as opposed to a campground atmosphere. And what I mean is the kids always like to ride their bikes. And if people are sitting out in their campers with their dogs or something and the kids have our permission, they go over and they speak to the, the person or whatever. And it just, this was a more of a neighborhood atmosphere where you just don't feel like you have the permission or the... Um, an atmosphere to do that. Well, there were, the thing is, there were sites for RVs. There were sites that had uh, mobile homes on them that were permanent residences. So it was a mixture of RVs and permanent residence type place. And actually some of the RVs were permanent residence too, but it was interesting. I mean, it had, it actually had street names inside the camp ground, if you can call it that. Well, UPS delivered to the person next to us yesterday. So, so it, was just, um, it was just different. It, it was different. Like it was different. And we didn't develop any kind of friendship or relationship with anybody whatsoever. Uh, Emily at the desk was very friendly and sweet. And she's following us here on Heritage Homestead Journey, I believe. So, uh, yeah, but um, the restrooms were the cleanest I've ever seen anywhere. The nicest and the cleanest. Yeah, I think they... I mean, I think it, they, they were just very... Here comes them. a big bump. I think they had just remodeled them. <laughs> because they were... They were, they were really, really, nice. really nice. We used them a lot to take all showers at one time instead of having to rotate our water and stuff. At the RV, having to wait on each other. Um, okay, well, we all didn't get in one shower. Oh no, no. Although those showers were big enough, two or three people could. Um, <laughs> okay, another first was I was thinking that's the first, that's the only place I've ever been in in my life in the United States where they spoke so much French. French. Now, I've been to um, the Canadian side of Niagara Falls, and I heard French there a lot, but you kind of expect that. But I have never heard so many French-speaking people, and, and we're talking in Florida, where you would, I would expect, we're talking Florida, where you would expect, I would expect a lot of Hispanic people and speaking Spanish, and that's fine, I would expect that, but um, no, um, French and a lot of banners i'm not going to call them flags but banners and they would have half an american flag and a, a canadian flag on the same banner and they were flying them at their campsites a lot of quebec license plates there were signs in french and the laundromat and the menu at the there's a restaurant at the campground and the menu was in french it was one of the options so one good thing was uh, we all agreed <clears throat> that was the first place we'd ever been that had such a nice place to ride our bikes. And I loved, 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 loved being able to ride my bike because it was all paved and it was reasonably flat. And that was really good for my So it required my knee. no effort. No, that is not true. <laughs> because I hadn't read, that's not fair. Because I hadn't ridden my bike in a while. I'm not an athletic person. I don't love athletics. But we brought my bike on this leg of the trip. And it was wonderful. I rode my bike at least once a day. Sometimes twice. This road's 
this is how it feels to pull when you're riding in the truck and you're pulling the camp you know you're like this all the time just so you know that you're like this so when I'm trying to edit videos my fingers jumping around on the on the keypad thing all right so we're headed to find a place to pull over and eat in Homestead Florida and that's kind of fun because I like the name says it is on the sign. Look at that down there. Ah. Look at the boat over there. I'm out of water. I know. I know. We're going to find a place to eat. We're going to get some more water. All right. How are y'all doing back there? How are y'all with going over the bridges in the water? Good. 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 You okay, John Boy? I'm okay. He's okay, he says. I'm okay. All right. You're in Key Largo, Dad. Yeah. Aruba, Jamaica. Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Key Largo, Montego. Baby, why don't we go to the Florida? Jamaica off the Florida Key. All right, we're still looking for a place to pull over and have our ham salad sandwich. <laughs> Oh, look at the not ham and cheese. Ham and cheese is more expensive than ham salad homemade, so I had to do what was least expensive, little buddy. Look at all these bright stores. The pink. Okay, well we never did find a place to eat. <laughs> so we we didn't plan that very well. Neither one of us, I guess. We pulled over into a private office parking lot, which is not the most ideal thing, but we had to go to the bathroom, especially the kids. So now we're gonna back up and get out of here and go to our destination without having eaten. So that's how it is. Let you out. Maybe somebody will be kind. Okay, well. I think just block the road and then somebody's coming. Oh dear, okay. <laughs> yeah, they're going to let you. Thank you, sir. If I wave at you, will you let us through? No, you won't? Okay. If I wave at you? Okay. Thank you. Woo! Doggies. People. <laughs> okay, so we got a banana for the kids. We got an orange for them. And I got them a little bit of um, cereal and a towel that we they can share. That and they got water. So that'll have to tide you over. Smells good back there with the bananas and the oranges.
Okay, so we arrived at our campground for the next three nights, but, and Dad has confirmation email, confirmation number and all that, but they don't have a record of our reservation and all the sites that fit our size are sold out. Interior. Interior says 40 feet or less. And that's all they've got left and we're 41 feet and they don't have a record but we have confirmation number this will be interesting Wait, maybe they... lord help it to work out all right we're gonna pull through so oh good. hallelujah where was your name so what was the problem what they had my they had me in the reservation system as um last name is my first name and my first name is my last name oh good so well had it thank backwards. you lord for working it out okay and when she found Ooh. it she blew hard and i'm like you're blowing hard and i'm over here about to faint because I, I know i'm not gonna find anywhere else to go <laughs> oh my word and we're in a pull through so that's nice okay good What's our number? we are numbers you're supposed to be sitting down little fella we're number 72. Okay, we made it to our destination, and this is the scene that always occurs when they're trying to level the camper. You got stop, John. Stop. You got John Boy looking at the level, then you got Little Miss Homemaker relaying the message, and Dad struggling because his. Tell him to watch. Tell him to watch the back and let Because his auto leveler is not working. Anyway, that's, this is the scene we got going on. More like a circus. Thanks for watching today.